Well, hey guys, happy Saturday. I can't believe Christmas is almost here. In today's vlog, I'm gonna first start out by talking about vitamin E and skincare, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of tidying up in my kitchen. I'm gonna make some cranberry sauce. I'll open the advent calendar with you guys to see what cool K-beauty items I got. I have to go to Kroger, so I'll take you guys there. And, oh, I'm getting an eye herb order in the mail today. All right, I get a lot of questions about the benefits of vitamin E and skincare products for the skin. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that is oil soluble, so it makes it an attractive candidate for antioxidants and skincare products. It's been shown to improve hydration in the skin and overall moisture retention. I think you will see the most claims about vitamin E surrounding its purported benefit in wound healing or you know putting it on a scar or putting it on a burn. Unfortunately that has not been substantiated with clinical data. There's a study that actually looked at the healing of post-surgical wounds with topical vitamin E and showed there was no difference in the outcome of the surgical wounds in terms of appearance and scar formation. Participants developed a contact dermatitis to the vitamin E. And that contact dermatitis can actually end up ultimately delaying, delaying wound healing and negatively impacting the appearance of the scar. So that's the last thing that you want. Contact dermatitis to vitamin E is pretty common. There are eight different forms of vitamin E. In skincare products, you're gonna see tocopherol and tocopherol acetate. I think where it becomes the most risky is when you're just taking straight vitamin E oil or breaking open one of those capsules and applying it to the skin, as opposed to if you see a skincare product that has tocopherol in it, like lower down on the ingredient list, in that case, more often than not, it's being added. Um, because it is an antioxidant, it will help uh, adding it to skincare products to stabilize other ingredients from degradation. So I'm not saying it's bad, but it does have the risk. And I think the risk is much greater when you're just using like straight vitamin E oil to the skin. In your vitamin C serums, you will frequently find, at least in a reputable vitamin C, you're gonna see L-ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. You're gonna see vitamin E and you're gonna see ferulic acid. And the reason that combination works so well is that uh, vitamin C and vitamin E, they both kind of help stabilize one another, as does the ferulic acid, another antioxidant. So it's that kind of trifecta that's been shown to be the most beneficial and potentially yielding these benefits uh, in your vitamin C serum of improving hyperpigmentation, boosting up collagen production. Although, as I've always said in all of my videos, formulating a, a L-ascorbic acid or vitamin C serum that will actually get into the skin and uh, you know, raise the levels of vitamin C in the skin and help, uh, the devil's in the details with the formulation and it's not really been perfected. There are a lot of more stabilized versions of vitamin C out there, but whether or not those actually raise the vitamin C in the skin, it hasn't been substantiated. Um, so that's a little bit, you know, obviously about vitamin C. The other thing about vitamin C too is that uh, one study showed that people who have normal plasma levels of vitamin C, applying it topically to the skin does nothing. It doesn't raise the levels of vitamin C in the skin at all. So whether or not everybody's gonna benefit from using topical vitamin C, we really don't have the answer to that. So to just globally recommend that everybody be using a vitamin C serum, marketing, that's marketing right there. A lot of these studies too, they're not going to, they're not going to control for <laughs> one of the most important things when it comes to your total body health, but also your the health of your skin and the way your skin looks. And that is lifestyle factors. Like are these people in these clinical studies, in these small studies, um, you know, is there overrepresentation of somebody who may be sleep deprived? Maybe, you know, some of the people don't eat very many fruits and vegetables. Um, maybe some of the people are smokers. Obviously, putting vitamin C serum on the skin of smokers is compelling that it would benefit them because sm the act of smoking, tobacco smoke, depletes vitamin C and vitamin E from the skin. So, you know, maybe they're, they seem like an obvious candidate for somebody who's going to demonstrate benefit with applying topical vitamin C. But, you know, for everyone else, it's hard to say. Enough of that jibber jabber. Oh, one thing I wanted to share with you guys. I have been getting some questions about my gold hoop earrings from Oro Central. Uh, a few videos, actually, I've been getting questions about these. I love them. Um, Oro Central, Oro Central. But yeah, they sent me this pair of smaller hoops. And not, they're not plated, you know, it's not plated gold, it's actual solid gold. They have a nice hook.
I'm getting another pair that I'll share with you guys in tomorrow's video. They're um, like heart hoops. Um, so I'll show you guys those tomorrow. But yeah, these little dainty hoops are really cute. My battery is gonna die. Hopefully it doesn't die soon. Yeah, I love them. And I like that they always come with a little pouch that split down the middle to keep them separated. So I happen to be a huge fan of this Aura Central company. I'll put the link down below in the description box. No, it's not an affiliate link, but they did send me these earrings to share with you guys. Chugging along here. Yeah, I'm gonna make some cranberry sauce today. I've been wanting to do that um, just to have it on hand for the week. I use the cranberries that I get at Costco. I bought them a few weeks ago and I haven't done anything with them. I got a new ornament for my ballet tree. It's this pretty pink nutcracker from Hallmark. Isn't he cute? So I'm gonna put him on the tree in my bedroom, my ballet tree. That's my Bornado judging in the background. I love that thing. It's you know, it obviously helps circulate the air around in here, but I love the white noise aspect of having it when I sleep. I think it helps a lot in the sleep hygiene. <laughs> I always save these Hallmark boxes to store the ornaments in. Show you guys up close, up close and personal. Isn't he cute? He's also got a little... Too bad the lever doesn't work. It's pretty... I just love it. Where should I put it in? Decisions, decisions. I don't actually need the hook because it came with a nice ribbon. There he is. He matches the ribbon too. This was a good idea, this ballet tree, because I have so many ballet ornaments and they all kind of match with, you know, obviously the pastels. Oh, she fell off. A little clothespin ballerina. <laughs> this is another Hallmark ornament from 2002. It's a little music box. Still work. Well, apparently it doesn't. Just you wait. That little gear will unstick itself at like 2 a.m. and all of a sudden it'll start going off and I'll be like, ah, what is that? Here in Kroger, Cheddarlicious vegan. Are those any good? Oh, check a pop. has cinnamon crisps. Those look good. We last left off with day 13. Congratulations to the winner of the eye cream. I sent it off to you earlier this week, so hopefully you got it from last week, that Pyongyang Yule eye cream that I already have. All right, day 14, it says glow. Ooh, looks like we have a, this is a mask. All Care Sika Aid. Cool, it's a hydrocolloid patch with centella in it, or hydrocolloid patches. You know, hydrocolloid pimple patches, they're helpful for keeping you from picking at the pimple. And if you have like a sore, an open sore that's kind of oozing, the hydrocolloid can help wick that up <clears throat> and help facilitate healing. I also like the hydrocolloid patches because they may, depending on how opaque they are, they may also offer some protection against UV. My favorite though are the ones by Hero Cosmetics. I've tried a lot of these over the past couple of years and I find that those 
stay on really well and uh, are the least noticeable. Anyways, we got that. But we got something from iUnique. I like this brand, iUnique. Right. Last year I got their Propolis sleep mask and it was actually really good. <laughs> um, this is their Black Snail Restore Serum. I wonder how this compares to the Causar X Snail. This one has um, also has licorice root, which is anti-inflammatory, and it's got soybean ferment, which can have a skin brightening effect, and it's got centella and niacinamide. Cool. This looks promising. I'm not seeing anything. It, it has rose fruit oil. It's technically fragrance. Um, it has geraniol in it, so if you're allergic to fragrance, you, you might cross-react. Um, but otherwise, this kind of looks promising. You guys, this year they've got they've given really good products. Last year was really good, but this year is seems to be even better. Um, all right, so that was day 15. Let's do 16. I love this cute little. Looks like a postage stamp. Um, I spoke too soon. This you can't see is on the powdered ingredient trend by Causerx. This is their Sika powder. I don't, I, th I don't like this trend. I have a video explaining why the vitamin, at least the vitamin C powder is an epic goof, goofiness, epic goofiness. But I don't know. I don't like the idea of consumers like having to make their own. Cause I feel like it's just susceptible to too many, to too many variables. Like, what are you mixing it in? Is this going to be stable in that? Is it going to evenly distribute? Are you going to get even application? Are you going to get hot spots and more irritation? Are you going to use too much and cause irritation? It's not like we really know the best dose of Centella to be putting on the skin. Looks like we have a niacin brightening sleep mask. You, uh... Yuja niacin, 70, oh, 70.5% yuja and 5% niacinamide. Hey, I, I appreciate that. Thank you for not going higher than 5%. <laughs> so many skincare brands are putting in a ton of niacinamide. And while it's helpful for redness, irritation, and can be helpful for hyperpigmentation, at high percentages, it can be really irritating. So the studies showing benefit use at most 5%, which is what this has. I don't know what Yuja is. Um, does this have fragrance in it? It does. Boo. All right, so we made it through day 17. Tomorrow I will do day 18, 19, and 20. Um, and then next weekend will be actually the day after Christmas. I will finish up the rest of the calendar for you guys in next weekend's vlog. This has been good so far, y'all. Really good. For everyone to enjoy Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belts Drinking up wine by the fire 
don't care of anything else It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend I pray it will never end Do you like to be here too? Ah, uh, love heading into the week with a clean sink and as you guys saw, I made some cranberry sauce for the week. Very easy. And I just store it in the fridge. I'll let it come to a complete cool though before putting the lid on. All right, y'all. I just got an iHerb order in the mail. So I'll share with you guys what I got. I have, as you all know, I have a habit of ordering from iHerb pretty frequently. First off, I got some of these Julian Bakery Paleo Thin crackers. The salt and pepper flavor is vegan. These are delicious. They're made with like almond flour and cassava flour. I adore these. I also got mulberries, my favorite. I also got some more face masks um, by Sunjoy. One of you all let me know that this is called Pure and not Pyre. I've been saying it wrong all along. And I heard another YouTuber, a couple other YouTubers also call it Pure. So I don't, I don't know why I chose to pronounce it that way. I mean, I, it is a, this is their Stevia Erythritol blend. I like to use this for baking. Um, I also like to use mock fruit, so not that. I also got some hazelnuts. I thought I would perhaps uh, don't hold me to this, but perhaps try and make my own vegan nut Nutella. I always want to call it Nutella. Been saying it wrong my whole life. <laughs> um, these looked interesting. This super fuel. It's basically almonds, macadamia nuts, sunflower protein powder, um, and erythritol and cinnamon and sweetened with stevia. I thought that sounded good. It's a little snack pack on the go. It's called Super Fat Keto Nut Butter. I thought it'd be good drizzled on stuff. Speaking of nut butter, I order my nut butters from my herb and I really like this brand. I have it in a little bubble wrap here that will free it from. I really like this Kevala brand. Their tahini is really good. Um, it comes in a glass jar, which I, I like. So yeah, I got almond butter this time. Anything that's in a glass jar, they put bubble wrap around so that it doesn't break, crack, which I appreciate. Nothing worse than a leaking box of natural almond butter. <laughs> I got some stevia drops, coconut flavor. Uh, sweet leaf, I like to put those in drinks. And, oh, I got another flavor here. Liberate it from its bubble cloak. <laughs> I guess I got two. Sometimes I like double, oh, I know. I double click and get two because you end up saving like 5%. I know I'm gonna reorder it eventually anyway, so I stock up to <laughs> save a little bit. And I got my nutritional yeast. This is my favorite brand of nutritional yeast. I've tried many. This Cal, Cal K-A-L Nutritionals um, Unsweetened. This is so good. I love putting this pretty much on everything. I got some longan fruit, so dried longan fruits. Love these two bits. Another favorite dried fruit of mine. And some more jujube. I can eat this whole bag. It's seriously a problem. These are far superior to dates. I haven't had prunes in a while. Prunes are my other favorite uh, kind of dried fruit like this. I'm not really a fan of dates, but these are my favorite. These and the mulberry and the long yam. I got some PD2 that has Madagascar vanilla in it. I thought that sounded bougie. And then I got some puka tea Detox. This is a fennel tea. I love fennel, so I thought that sounded good. I really like these puka teas. And because I've been so on my baking grind lately, I have no idea why. Maybe it's just, I don't know, the holidays and whatnot have me wanting to bake. I got these rainbow sprinkles that are vegan. Uh, so I don't know. 
This is one of those things I impulse purchased and it's gonna float around my pantry, but it's pretty. <laughs> so yeah, got that. And then I got a ton of smart sweets because I love these. And the more you add to your basket, the uh, more saving. So I got a bunch of the fish. Love these. And I also got a bunch of the peachy rings. So I like to have those for dessert. <laughs> They're delightful. So yeah, that's everything that I got at I from iHerb this time. Well, hey guys, it's the end of the night and I am pretty tired. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you made it this far, I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.